In this video, I'll show how to find the derivatives of logarithmic functions. So first off, the general form of the derivatives of logarithmic functions. If you have function y equals log base a of x, where a is some constant, so log base a of x, then the derivative y prime, or it can be written dy dx, the derivative of that would equal 1 over x times, and still in the denominator, the natural log of a, of whatever that number a is. So that's the derivative. So for an example of that, if we had y equals log of x. Now I specifically did not write the base because if we do not see the base written, it's implied that it is base 10. So remember that. If you don't see the base written, it's implied that it's base 10 when you see the word log written. So then the derivative of that y prime would be 1 over x natural log of 10. And that's it. Okay, and, and I could certainly evaluate natural log of 10 as a number, but I'll just leave, leave it like that for this one. And a lot of times that's how the answers are written, just in, in terms of the natural log. Now, let's take this special form where we have y equals the natural log of x. Well, the natural log is just the log base e of x. So the first derivative then following this pattern from above is 1 over the x times the natural log of that base of e and the natural log of e we saw this when we were doing in another video when we were doing the the derivatives of exponential functions the natural log of e is just 1. So this turns into then just 1 over x. Uh, this comes up a lot in calculus. You have the uh, function and, and some th somewhere in the function you've got natural log of x and then you've got 1 over x as the derivative. So start on, starting off, find the derivatives of the following functions f of x equals log of x squared. We're going to use the chain rule here because we have more than just x. We have x squared. So we're going to take the derivative of the outside function and then multiply by the derivative of the inside function. Also, we do not have a base shown here. So we, it's implied that it's base 10 when you have the word log. If you have the, the ln, that means natural log, and that's implied that it's base e. But if the word log and you don't have a base, then it's implied that it's base 10. All right, let's keep on going here. Uh, then f prime, the first derivative of this, or df dx, equals 1 over x squared now times the natural log of 10 multiplied by the derivative of the inside here. So multiplied by 2x, and I'll just make it a fraction by putting it over 1. So 2x is the derivative of x squared. So we've got 2x over x squared. We can simplify some stuff here. So f of f prime of x, the first derivative, equals 2 over x natural log of 10. x times the natural log of 10 is in the denominator. Okay, that's, that's the first one. The second one, g of x is the natural log of 4x minus 2. We're going to do the chain rule again. Uh, we have this special form where it's log base e, or the natural log. So we're just going to jump right to this. The derivative of g of x equals 1 over 4x minus 2. That's it. All right? We just followed that pattern. Multiplied by the derivative of of 4x minus 2, the inside here. So that's just a 4. The derivative of 4x is 4, and the derivative of negative 2 is 0. I'll make it a fraction by putting it over 1. Hey, we can actually cancel a 2, uh, or divide a 2, out of every one of these terms. So I'm going to do that right here. And that leaves us with a 2 in the numerator still. 
So G prime, let's keep it the same color here. G prime of x equals 2 over 2x minus 1. All right, moving on to the last one. We're looking at h of x equals natural log of x over 3x. Don't even think about canceling these x's. These, these are, uh, you've got natural log of x and, and 3x. These are different functions. You cannot cancel these x's here because it's not the natural log times x. It's the natural log of x. All right, this is where you have that form. Let's see where I can write it. I'm going to make a little space right here. If I have y equals u over v, then the derivative is v du minus u dv all over v squared. Or you might remember low d high minus high d low over low squared. Whatever helps you remember the quotient rule is the correct way here. So you've got u and v, and let's follow this pattern. So h prime of x, the first derivative is v du, so 3x times the derivative of u, so that is times 1 over x minus u dv, so minus natural log of x times derivative of the lower, that is 3, over 3x quantity squared. I'm going to jump to it. That's 9x quantity squared, because 3x times 3x is 9x squared. Now I can clean this up a little bit, so I'll just move this down to give myself a little more space, and let's see how it looks. The derivative, the x's cancel here. This, is, this 3x is in the numerator, so we're left with 3 minus 3 times the natural log of x all over 9x squared. Hey, you might be thinking, hey, we can cancel a 3 out of there. And you're right. Let's do it. Let's divide a 3 out of everywhere. And we are left with h prime of x equals 1 minus the natural log of x. 1 times the natural log of x over 3x squared. So that is the derivative of the original h of x function.